Hello and welcome to this video where we're going to just open a view without any no plans or ever and just create the scene scenario kind of like fall colors pastel colors what I was going after um, but have again no ideas what we're going to do just to pure like almost painting digital painting relaxing so sit down and create this inside the view um i will also go in photoshop and just a little bit of retouching touch up some add contrast to front ones from trees kind of going to do but again that's all optional this is one is a straight out of view with um, no other corrections so let's go ahead and start doing working on this hello so and this is another sessions when i actually did not prepare or know what we're going to do so it's exploratory sessions that's what i call them it's when we just open view applications and started creating some terrain see where it, that will lead us uh, personally i find this is kind of more interesting because of that way i can play with some pictures of applications that i don't know before and usually it's what i do i going kind of exploratory playing with different features see how they work you know how they interact between each other and after creating something if i like it usually i made a court tutorial based on this but so right here i was decided to create the sessions that just uh, creating one from beginning to see how it's work i hope that will help you as well inspire and i probably going to use it some function editor um just to go over some nodes and if you uh feel not comfortable with those node based editors i will recommend to look on my um other tutorials i posting them as we're going at this introduction to function editor and think about this video it's kind of hands-on supplement to that other series of tutorials so help you kind of get better grip on some of this idea of the node based editor so here's our terrain and usually when i look on terrain that um, from experience i know the atmosphere it will be last that i want to edit because it will take more time render preview and everything so i want to start with something that does not load it my system very heavy so let's go ahead with the terrains and we have it two different terrains we have it high field terrains and we have it procedural or fractal based terrains uh procedural terrains they're very nice and they're very uh, realistic looking and most important when you start close to them their details all the stuff but because i'm building on a background i want to use just normal high field terrains and those is uh, they kind of created once you know and almost like shape is done you can change shape but overall they're done and because they will be far away on a distance it's what i want to kind of put in them out there just create my background scene it's what first we're going to do um, before actually doing usually i go in the camera and i disable after exposure after exposure does help sometimes if a dark brighter but in my case i want to control if i want darker scenery i want darker scenery so it's the reason why i'm doing this way next let's go also view and what i want to do it is switch a little bit if you notice right here we don't have our guides i want to use the frame guide and uh, frame guide let's go display grid this is actually what i wanted i want to save frames now we'll disable those but i want grid four by three we'll click ok and this has helped me to set my composition properly okay. and you can see i usually i work with one third of the rule so we can create maybe about right here or we can go down it's about where lines going it will help me um, if i focus on the vegetation i may be going down or pound but i think maybe let's go like around right here and again this is my horizon horizontal line i probably will have some trees there not sure about the mountain so it's kind of playing a little bit around with this view okay let's go take our terrain now bring closer and uh, you know what i think let's go ahead something it's a fall coming let's go create something a uh, fall alike scenery and uh, for this we'll probably let's go create a lake right here lake will have a cost maybe a little bit kind of edge on the lake trees will have a background and with the background one thing i want to do i want to see those trees on the back 
So that one will be our background one. We'll just go select, probably put it right here. Let's stretching. I don't care how to do it. It's just a platform will be for our trees on the background so we can see them. So I'll put it one right there. Um, because I don't care too much about shape, I hold down Alt or Option key and left click and drag. This is just duplicated for our terrain. And I'll just put it a little bit more far right here. Let's go increase in top size. So we'll have a trees here. This is a little bit on the back with a haze. And you know what? Let's go to Alt one more time. Make it bigger. And we'll just put it right there. So we'll have it one, two, three kind of covering. I know this one maybe a little bit even more closer. Expand it. So the tree is going. Okay, this is my background. You notice also um, I'm using Vu Extreme or Infinity or the other one Pro version. I don't remember, but right here I have it mark 50 meters. So it, if I look on the square right now set, these squares is about 50 meters. So right there. And let's go create new terrain. And this one actually I want to create a little bit smaller. Just shrink out here. We'll put it closer to the camera. And we'll just start molding this little bit. Okay, where's my camera? Let's take my camera. And a camera, it is five meters. It's probably about right, actually. Let's leave it five meters. Okay, this is my terrain that I want to create a lake. Okay, and I'll just go bring a little bit to the edge of the cameras. Oops. I don't want to rotate. I think right here is about right. Again, you can always just go in a size, and if you need it, we can just say, okay, you know what? That will make easier. 300 meters. Our Z is our top, and we'll have it 300 meters here. So this is a perfect square. And 60 meters, I think it's a little bit too tall. So let's go with a about 15 meters on that one. So let's go next. I'm just going double time click to open um, terrain editor there. And uh, one thing you notice we have it zero edges, actually one unchecked zero edges. So we have it our terrain kind of place it. And I'm using alt or option key, hold down. And you can use your left mouse key to rotate around, your middle key to pan, and your um, right key to zoom in and out. So this is how we're going to navigate inside. Um, if you don't know where the camera is located, you can only enable show entire sense. And we click right there and you can see where is the camera positioning. So from this angle, I don't care at this point, I'm turning off. But here is where my lake will be, and this is edge. Um, one thing let's go to do, we want to actually a little bit flatten or we want to do some other elements, but for now I want use it paint tool. We'll use it just simple rays or this. We don't want to use it 3D sculpt. 3D sculpt is nice, we can have it overhanging, but for the lake we don't need it. And it will add a lot of polygons. So I want to minimize this. We'll just use it arrays for this. We'll invert first, increase radius, reduce flow. And you can see right here, I can start already kind of creating. Remember, this is my um, camera. So I'm going just to take it and create a lake. You know what? It's going a little bit slow when increase our flow. So it will be a little bit faster. And I'm just going to taking down. If you're afraid that you may go a little bit too low and just remove it, you can enable the clipping areas. So and for this on a bottom clipping area, we can take bottom and just bring like maybe around here in the meters. You know what? Let's go to about 60 centimeters low. Okay. Constrain to clipping range. 
and we'll just say very high flow and you can see when we start doing this it just won't but it won't go all the way down because we constrain to that clipping area this is a nice way to create um kind of flat areas and that's what i'm going to do right now right here and we'll just like creating so again our camera going from this position and i want a little bit grass on the top like right here we'll go edge this is edge will display and we'll go let's make smaller radius and kind of almost a river going down there just sculpting a little bit um sometimes if you want harder edge you can see what i'm with the radius just take it oh teeny, teeny tiny two small radius like around here let's go create some areas a little bit harder edge like right there and i'm just overall viewing if we're going from this angle trees will be here grass i need a little bit smooth this edge smooth out so we'll go take flow down pop up and just on this edge right here we want a little bit smooth down the reason is why if we don't do this our camera will display this cut off edge and i don't necessarily want it i want have it a little bit smooth also let's move out some stuff right here and i don't want to use it zero edge because if i use it zero edge it's will um give it me too soft a uh, too far away edge someone created okay here's the interesting things because we have a trees and i do like display trees kind of um in a layer so we can see distance so we'll go to display one layer okay like right here which is closer to the ground and we'll now uncheck invert and we'll go increase right here on the back okay so right here and we start putting trees we'll have it kind of layers and you can see the tree will stock and it will look way nicer okay so we create a kind of almost mountain going down here okay, maybe you know let's add a little bit hill to this point and if you're interested, you can also add a little bit island. So let's go make smaller. Kind of for the middle. Right there. This is up to your art, kind of how you see it how it will look, maybe look better so you can play around a little bit more Ooh, too big too big let's go back just increase a little bit right here create something interesting and i'm just looking from this where we can put plants so they stick from the water i think this is looking nice one thing what don't rem remember to do it you want to go uncheck your clipping area so we'll go normal and uh, let's uncheck this one as well and click OK. So at this time we have it our terrain. Notice we still have it this cut edge off. So we'll take our cameras. And the reason is a little bit too high, but it's OK. We'll bring our camera right about here. And maybe a little bit even taller because I want preview my lake so i want to go there we'll go a little bit zoom out maybe even a little bit higher like this okay like about that edge and there you go so here we have it our lake notice if these cut off some areas like this in this area but it's okay we'll use it because we're forcing user we're forcing to people see from your viewpoint we can cover those elements we can add a trees or bushes right here and actually we'll do this we'll just cover those elements so right now let's go ahead and preview our render i want to render to the screen okay let's preview this resolution okay and click render 
Okay, here's our preview render, and I think it's kind of look interesting. Those ones, of course, we're using different brushes, which is fine. Actually, it does add a little bit interesting effect, and mostly because when we start putting grass and other elements, it will go up and down, so it's great, nice shape for us. Uh, so this is, I think, general shape is done, but you know what? Let me go back to here, and we'll just look right there. Maybe this is a little bit too noisy. So we can always fix. We can go inside and click on diffuse. There you go. It'll just smooth out a little bit those heels. So remove it. Okay, next let's go create a water for now. And usually you can do this multiple ways. Water I prefer with a cube. So I don't prefer the infinity plane of the water because I can control some better this way. But I like to create from the cube. So you create cube. I want to be sure this cube is trudged to cover all this area. Right there. And with this cube, we can control how far we want to this going. So I think maybe around there. And just change to the blue for now. So I know this is my lake will be. So that my materials will help work with closer to the lake. And we will change this material to liquid water with maybe some foamy area with some um, elements so we can kind of like green stuff going by the edges. So we'll go to do that. But notice like on the back, we don't have water on the back showing because again, this is just this square. It's where I want to place it. Uh, let's go ahead and start working on the texturing um, the our terrains. And we'll start from our faraway terrains. So one thing I'm going to create a new um, folder. Okay, right here, and we can do this by just creating those. This one, two, three. There you go. Actually, let's exit this one. Okay, so here's interesting things. With right texture, if you're putting on the um, your terrain, you can minimize how many of the plants you need to put it because they will simulate. Um, the reason is, it's how uh, we preview. If it was 3D world, um, we can see about 10 meters that we can parallax see the 3D. If it's going far away, we don't see the 3D. So we only can say about shapes by based on luminosity, darker or lighter, and also the contrast in the case, but it's so on stuff. So with the right texture, we won't need to put it so many plants there. So actually, you know what, um, for this, let's just experiment with this one first before going. I'll go just open, and you notice right here we already have some grayish color, but I want to create maybe fall, so for me it will be probably kind of pale green and yellowish. So we'll go to work with two colors. One maybe will be around this color. And let's go with a greenish, darker like this, two colors. Okay, so that is our one color. And maybe, you know what, green is not dark enough. Let's go a little bit darker green. And we'll just pop up roughness on this. So we can see a little bit those older fields. Okay, let's go ahead right now, edit graph, see what we have right here. And this is, we have our natural connecting. And the same properties we have right here. We could actually take and connect them to um, other areas, but I think that will work fine. Okay, I'll distortion a little bit less. I still think this one is maybe need a little bit greener. Like just a bit, a little bit on a green. Okay, let's go ahead, click OK. So this is one coloring. And I'll just go right click, copy material, and we'll go to our terrain, and we'll go to paste here, and paste on this material. Okay, our front one a little bit more tricky because it's not far away, and you can see better. What I found the for me, actually, you know, before this, before I forgot, let's select the ground and paste that material on the ground as well. So it's kind of matching on the corners. 
Okay, so let's go look right now on our terrain close up. And then we can go just name close up, or like right there. Okay, select it. And this one I want to create special texture. So for this one, I'm going to preload it. Let's open and I am going to select one from the ground. Uh, one thing what I found it's work very well if you map it your pictures what you created and I actually create this uh, yellow actually is my grass some like this grass and other ones which work very well by the way um, this is part of the pack of the materials that I have it it's like hundreds I forget how many about 500 materials maybe or more pack and uh, they're all free to download. They used to be um, big sales on uh, Chronocopia, but Chronocopia is out for those who remember. And right now they're available um, for Patreon supports, free downloads on my Patreon website. I'll put link there for those who are interested and want to support um, my work and tutorials. I'll appreciate if you uh, become Patreon for this. Uh, but you're not required again uh, some of this you can easily take image or create it something but it, this is one I like to use for close-up the grass field so I'm just going to select this one and uh, just to showing you what I was meaning okay let me go bump map and we'll take a, and a deep maybe is set to 0 0.01 I don't want I want almost flat we'll click OK and let me show you what I was meaning by right texture. You can see how with this texture, we already have it like almost grass is applied. And it's because texture is very easy. So it's nice and simple way to do it. Uh, right here, a little bit, you can see have kind of edge. And this is good because what we're going to do with this, we're going to use different materials to apply to create kind of edge look on this. So let's go back to our material right here and we'll go create new layer. Let's go to set this layer to one and this to one scale. So I would just want to scale one, one. Okay. And on this layer, we're going to colors, switch to natural grain. Okay, we'll take this natural grain and we'll set muddy look darker and this one will say maybe a little bit brighter okay let's go ahead add roughness to this pop up distortions a little bit so you can see where it's applied and we'll take highlights i don't want highlights on this I want very muddy look but here's a problem it's great everywhere so what do we want to do? It's going into our present and we're going to work with altitude on this. So altitude by the object will go this way. Actually, you know, the slope It's what we needed. We don't need altitude. Well, we will work with altitude, but slope most important. So this is zero is flat. And if we're going to 30 degrees, you can see how cut off. Sometimes it's hard to view. So what do we want to do? You can click on visibility and switch like a different color. Let's go right there. And you can preview ways that material will apply it. So these weights will help you set your visibility just to those areas where we want it. And we want to add a little bit fuzzy on a flat. So it's kind of merge just a little bit nicer. Okay, let's go a little bit flatter right there. I just want to be sure right in the edge going to look a little bit better. Like around here, maybe. There you go. When we're done, we'll just re-enable our visibility. And at this point, if we're going to click, or before this, let's go bump and says add. We don't want to replace one add. So we'll take the bumps from below and kind of apply it. Let's go OK, click render. And you can see how we already start looking this little bit better. So we maybe need to add more darker, but it will be add the smoothness to this area, right to this edge. 
Okay, one thing, remember, always save your work as we go and close. So in this case, you kind of continue doing this. Okay, we'll have our close up. Let's go material, this new layer, actually it is, let's go name dirt, okay? And so we have our dirt here. We'll go to presence again. And just maybe even pop up a little bit more and soften these edges. Just a little bit darker. Yeah, I think this will work a little bit better. Okay. Let's go ahead, click OK. And again, this with the texture, it's it's a little bit easy. Um, if you do this way, and you know what, let's go just maybe even make a little bit smaller. Five. There you go. Let's go ahead, preview, see what we have. We should have a nice kind of looking grassy things up front. Again, with this texture, we don't need to put it so much grass. It's almost already applied. So it's make it easy for us to do this. I think next we can start putting some plants. Um, let's go start work first on the plants up front. And um, we can have an ecosystem population. However, for this case, I like to use um, painting tools. So we'll use a brush and paint. We'll go open again our material editor and we'll go to add new layer. Let's call it grass. We'll go to ecosystem particle general and we'll go to add item. We'll go to add plant and let's see what we have. We want to have it some grassy plants and depending on what collection you have it you may have it more plants or less um, I'm just going to use whatever I have it in my collection a bunch of grass thick let's go use this one okay we'll use it okay populate it there our grass thick grass and um, you know what let's go to without populating let's see what we have we have a dance we are going to paint that one so we can kind of and you notice it is kind of disappears sometimes and I think this is something with the refresh on my video card which is okay I'm going to zoom in a little bit closer and I'm going to paint but one thing what I want to paint I'm looking right here where I'm painting I don't want paint in the places where it won't be visible so I want to paint in a place where visible but because it's also grass I want to actually pop up so we uncheck limit density it will give it us a little bit better and we'll just start you know kind of like adding right here and I'm just painting where the camera will see so we can add some of this grass like on our heels and we already have a nice grass there so this is just to add a little bit more details to this um, we can go ahead and increase just a little bit scale pop up higher Okay, let's paint a little bit more. Um, do we have some limitation and you can see it does not want paint down there. And probably it's something with presence. We said okay. So yeah, I just add right there. Okay. Let's go again. And just paint a little bit more. And again, something with my video card, you can see I think it's just refreshing um it's not yet rendered, but it's okay at this moment. Okay, let's go ahead. Click there, click OK. And we should have some of this grass, but I think I want a little bit taller. Okay, let's go to the grass. Let's go again to the paint grass. And I think, you know what? Probably let's make it 
our tool paint and pop up scale even more. Just to have a few of those things grass taller. Okay, like on an edge right here. Population rules and check ecosystem population rules. So let's go our ecosystem population. You know, just looking, I really don't like how it's going. So I'll go to clear everything because the grass I mean, it does not give it anything. It just add a bunch of unnecessary details. So I probably want maybe different. We already have a texture, so I don't think grass adding that much. Instead, probably want to start adding plants itself. So let's don't worry right now for the grass. We may come back to this. I'll just go click OK. And instead, we're going to add plants, trees. And again, how I say this is what's happening. You experiment one way, you like it, you don't like it, you just experiment another ways and see how it will come so right here is one tree and i think the reason is why because it is kind of small very large extents area so i think it's what happened but it's okay we'll fix this one so we'll go create another autumn tree just put right there and you know what maybe Go bring up and drop down. Okay, maybe you know, bring it closer, like right there. So we have a couple of trees right there. I think overall we can actually paint with the trees. So let's go back. Okay, instead of grass, let's remove the grass. Let's add trees. So plant. We'll add one tree and i think that will work a little bit better we'll go another plant red color so we'll want to add let add another plant and the bomb we mix the more interesting it will look so we'll go add another plant like in real life uh, birch let's go we want to add something greener as well so let's add maybe um this one okay let's go to add another plant and we'll go to add loose pearls what do we have it there we have it also pine tree i don't think it will go okay spring yep that one let's go to add something greener like a blue springs and we want to add some trees that already lost the leaves i think this one will work good okay still have a little bit problem with my card so we'll go to right here close up okay and you know what let's hide the cube a little bit okay and we'll go now paint tool Yeah, we do have it. it's definitely something going on with my card. Let me go click OK. So I'll we'll reset my render on my card. Okay, we'll go to open again. We'll go to paint tool. Um, once select populate for this, our card. Um, uncheck limit density. Scale one should be OK. Flow we can make a little bit lower. And we can try right here, just paint a little bit. Okay, so it does kind of large. So okay, we'll come back there. But on this case, I want just to populate right around there. Remember, we have it layers because we'll go with multiple kind of like layers. Go right here. I'll add a little bit 
open up back. Let's go add right in this angle and right here to hide those edges, if you remember. Okay, up front, we're going to use a little bit trick here. So we're going to reduce our scale and maybe brush radius flow a little bit. And we'll just go a little bit, add a few right there on the corner. So I'll just add smaller. Same, we'll just add a little bit to the edge. Like around here, it will be smaller. And let's add a few on the island. Just almost paint in the water. So it will almost seems like they floating. We'll add a few around here. I say because we add a little bit smaller size, should they work better? We can see lake. Okay, and let's go just add right around here more. Okay, this edge. Right there, this edge. So I'm just looking. I'm not sure if I like how it look here, so we can try to add maybe more to this edge. So just paint right around there. Okay, cover this edge. And so on. Okay, paint here. Yeah, let's paint more on this area because this will be coming up right around here. It will be look nice. Okay, now we want to go even smaller and just add a little bit more up front. Okay, and as well. Just a little bit around this area. I think this is look good. Just a little bit spread out around this area. Okay, I think we good. So let's go close this one. Click OK. And remember, save your work. And let's go just to render preview. So I'm going to ignore luminosity or whatever it's come up. And I'm going to pause for a second and come back when the render is completed. Okay, so as a render progress, I noticed those dead tree, maybe too many of them, you know, it does not, um, they don't add that much. Few of them will be nice, but I think it's too many. So it's no point to progress right now. Usually I just want to see and it's this is nice natural messings. It's what look very good to me. I'm going to pause or stop actually this render. And we're going to erase some of these trees. So we'll go ahead. Let's open painter tool again. Okay, we'll go to eraser. And in eraser, we'll go to selection, deselect all. And we'll just go select few. So let's go ahead. This one. Okay, and I'm not sure if I want to. Um, so let me see if I want to select, erase some of them here. Okay. Erase a little bit on the back, I think. Around here, those two. We can always just go in and remove them from. I'm not sure if I want to keep them actually. So let's go do this way. Let's go instead of raise. We'll go just inside here. We'll select our winter tree and we'll just remove it. So I just remove them. Um, the reason is sometimes with the painting, yeah, we want to add, but not as many. So in this case, I'll just go and add a few singles of them. So we're going to click select one tree. 
Okay, it should add in a second. And then this way I have a little bit better management on the where to put it. So I can put one tree just sticking out a little bit right here. Okay, we can take another tree, maybe put around this area. So just uh, kind of separating one, two, just in different areas. Yeah, we'll put this one around here. And up and shrink it down. So kind of we have a little bit dead trees, but they're not sticking too much. Okay, I think this one maybe need to come closer. Like around there, so we can see it a little bit better. Okay. Yeah, I like better with less dead trees. I think it's a little better. Okay, so let's go ahead next. Um, just start painting on this one. And what we're going to do, we'll go same. Select three terrains. Let's go to edit. We'll add new layer. Convert this to the ecosystem particles. Okay, we'll go to um, add plants. Let's go add item plants. And add plants. Same, we'll go just to add up this way. Another plants. Almost similar. We can add all of those plants. Let's go to add um, something like this. The only the different what we're going in the summer. I want a little bit green also. Add plant red one. We need something more reddish on the backdrop, so we'll go add maybe. Okay, I think this one will be very red, but we can try. Okay, and we'll go just paint two. Okay, we'll go add a brush out. Go select to our painting tool brush let's go pop up a little bit size i just want a little bit stroke just see how it's look yep on a back okay that is look good so we can start painting uncheck limit density let's pop up our brush flow i just want to paint kind of right here on a heel far away so you can see it it's all what it's about in here let's go paint on this one as well just on the top here because bottom won't be visible so you can see right there we'll just spread them a little bit around okay so let's go with this just a little bit more right closer So yeah, they look a little bit nicer. Closer to the edge and same right here. So for this one, let's go and get a bigger brush. Just paint on the top and I can see right on the middle kind of pop up. Let's go pop up brush flow more. So we can go faster. Okay. Spread a little bit more around. Okay, I think this is good. It will cover our nice um, background. It should pop up right there. Um, at this point, I think we want to add some fog work with the atmosphere. So I'll take my cube. Let's go change material on the cube and I'm going with the water. So we'll go several waters, liquids we have it. Let's go see right here on the liquid. And we have it water, what do we want with the foam kind of. Gaustic, we don't need this. Nope, it's clear water. Let's see if I have it in my collection. 
some liquid, clouds, cloud, displacement, floor, glass. Okay, I'm just going over okay, right here some additional liquid. And we do have it. Okay, in the collection, I do have some ice water, mud water. So we can probably use some mud water for this. Puddle, we have an oily swamp. No, we don't need that one. And mud water, I don't know if it will work very well with this. So it's kind of questioning some meta waves. Wave shore, so we can use the wave shore for this. Only a couple things we need to modify. So the form, you know what, let's go with the color. Let's change to natural green. And natural green will change to one will be yellowishy, and this one will be greenishy, kind of. So we'll do this way. Let's reset our color. We'll add a little bit more distortions and contrast. So just like right there, highlights. We don't want any highlights on this. Do okay, let's cover this and our general water. We'll go with transparency and we'll add a little bit more murkiness to this. So, what edge it's what does by the edge, so will create almost like a kind of things in a swampy little bit looking. But again, we don't see so much water, we'll see maybe we change angle of the camera, but it will should cover this way. Most important right now for me, it will be creating this distance. And to creating distance, we need to add some with atmospheric effect. So let's go take sunlight first. We'll move a little bit on the back and slightly up. So we'll have it nice on the tree. So one shadows on the sides to create it. Oh, maybe too much. Okay, let's go back. A little bit more back here, a little bit up. So we'll see when it's updating. Maybe still a little bit too much. So let's go ahead. A little bit move more. Okay, we feel a little bit better lighting. We're gonna come back to this. Now let's go to atmosphere editor. And in atmosphere editor, we want to go sky haze. We'll take aerial perspective, pop up this all the way. So we want this one be quite a bit high. Okay, and before you know what, let me take my camera. I think we want to put up and bring up kind of like this almost. I just want to be looking kind of right there. Our horizon still right by third lane, kind of almost. Yeah, there you go. You can see our haze coming nicely. Okay, let's go back to our atmosphere editor. Um, we want to take an experiment a little bit with the glow. So if we add glow, this will be glowing from this side, kind of bring a little bit more. And when we add suns, will be nice. Okay, let's go add ground fog, haze. And we'll add a little bit warmness by decay. So it will, should look a little bit more warm. Coloring, almost like this fall coloring. Okay, let's go to add a few clouds. Preload it. And we'll go select the clouds. Um, let's go camelus. Probably will select and the spectral ones. Let's go with the thick ones. Doesn't really matter which one. I just want to add something to our clouds. And this is look nice, except we'll go and I want them whispering, so I'll reduce density, pop up opacity. So we'll just shoot it. Just barely seeing, that's what I want to add them here. So very, very light clouds. Build 1% of density. Pop up details, altitude variation, ambient light. 
So we should see just a little bit like whispering clouds almost there will be. Just very, very light. Okay, let's go back to sky fog. Um, let's increase ground fog. See, it will be shoot right here. Just increase on the bottom. We'll bring a little bit more to this. Yep. Okay, so it is. It's add this density. It's what I wanted. Um, let's go back to... Um, Sky fog. This one, let's go put list to the zero right now. Okay, just a little bit above. And our glowing, we can go to glow intensity down. Okay, it will pop up so it's a little bit less glowing. Um, let's make it a little bit rainy by reducing a little bit ground that's to the sky. Should right here a little bit darker cyanish top will appear for us. Okay, I'll go OK on this one. We'll take our sunlight and we can play a little bit more with the position. So we can bring it down, maybe a little bit up front, see how that will come up. Bring a little bit even more up front. So right here, this will look brighter. But I'm not sure if I like, like this bright or versus again it's kind of neat play around or verse almost up to camera but like right here visible in the corner that will make all the leaves darker kind of have this almost fall effect with the glowing leaves so you can play around see which one atmospheric you like it i think the both can work very well but i still kind of maybe from angle going See the blue sky. I don't know. I, I, other ones look nice. So it's multiple ways we can go. Yeah, let's go. Actually, you know what? Let's go do this way. Let's go put sun here. Bring sun a little bit down. Almost maybe out of the sight. Problem is with this, I'm losing some of this beautiful um, coloring. But again, this way is also look very good. So it's kind of um, going back and forward between the colors. So you can play around, see which one you prefer, what you like it. I think this one, I'll just increase density. We'll pop up higher. I want just bluish, even more blue sky. So we'll have a very beautiful contrast between warm and cold. So it's what I'm trying to play about, create this way. Let's pop up our haze. This will make it less saturated, but darker. Okay, and we can take pop up decay a little bit up and glowing on the clouds. So we should increase a little bit more glowing in this area. Like right actually opposite because I add other stuff. I do like this one. Okay, so let's go pop up back our glowing and bring up glow intensity. Let's take a little time sometimes to see how it's updating. Okay, so let's go ahead and try maybe glow intensity pop up. So it should right here. I want to have it glow this nice, but this is kind of need to control it, and we can control this. Yeah, maybe it's too much of glowing. Let's go a little bit lower here. We'll still have it control scattering at, uh, around there. So we could take this and decrease just by a little bit, maybe around. So it will be just a little bit smaller. Um, saturations can always um, play with that little bit with saturations as well. Okay, let's go to light and we're using our global render with for the matrix. Okay, so we'll have it on a bright of right. I think that is fine. Let's go to our sun and actually, you know what? 
I want to just take this smaller. I'll have it corona or I want to move it because this is right on an angle. Yeah, there you go. It was a bright spot that I don't like it. Okay, we could increase. You can go up to 10, but remember, you can always go and you can actually type value inside here that will uh, make it work more. For example, if you put 25, it will add quite a bit. So you can put it different and you can see this is add a little bit more this lettering. 25 may be too much, you know, but 15 probably will be look way better. Okay, our focus fine. You know what? This coloring may be less saturated. Let's bring it down and darker like this. So we'll just remove some of the saturation. I think it's look too bright. We need a little bit more fall, kind of more rainy, almost like looking uh, a little bit too now. Too much of the uh, bring back up. A little bit like right around here. So it's kind of play a little bit with the lights. I don't want to make all red. I want to have a nice coloring right there. But this is, yeah, that's much better. Okay, um, so we have it with the glowing sun. We set with this decay. Uh, let's just let it take a little bit down on decay. So it will be a bit more bluish, less coloring. We could bring sun pinch down. So it will add. But again, this is kind of tweaking. You start playing with the lights. You see how it's work. So yeah, I don't know if this will look nicer. Yeah, let's go. You know what? Let's go back to this. Click OK. We'll take sunlight and we'll just take sunlight just a little bit up. And leave it out. Right here. The other things and sometimes may work well if we go to switch to so soft shadows. So we go to edit shadows, use it map. You can see how shadows look a little bit ugly here. So we can play a little bit with the gray shadows. And we want to take these shadows and just drag it down to about 98, just a little bit. So it will add way we can see ground and we can preview all of that stuff. Okay, I think that is okay now. So I'm going to again save my work. Be sure you do this. And let's go right now. Click on the render. We'll go render 19 by 8. Final just to test preview. Click OK. And I'm going to render. And I'm going to pause actually as I'm rendering because I don't want you to wait here for how long it will take it. And we'll resume this after a uh, render is completed. Okay, so render is done. Let's look. And I do like colors. Couple things. It's come up to me. It is I'm missing some long far away. So it's meaning I need to reduce on a maybe haze. Uh, saturation a little bit right here too much on a haze. So let's reduce haze. We can see this some lake of this. Um, the clouds too grainy. We need to reduce sterilizations. And to offset the bright spot, I'll probably bring a tree very close right here. Very, very close to the camera to make kind of like very close foreground objects. So let's do this. First, we'll go with Atmosphere Editor. And an Atmosphere Editor, let's drop this to the 10. Okay, so it will open for us. Okay, next we want to take and little bit reduce on the fog ground dense so clear up little bit areas like below we can see a little bit of the lake okay let's go in clouds and we'll take our detail amount drop that down okay also let's see featherings pop up just a little bit make them um, kind of there but smoother in other stuff so we'll be going this way 
Okay, let's click OK. And now I want to actually add a plant house at a tree probably closer to our camera around there. It will be floating tree, but nobody will see the floating tree, so it really doesn't matter. Okay, and we'll go to side. Yeah, let's go tree. Okay, it should add in a second and we'll take that tree and you see it's right there. We'll just bring closer. And I know it's a floating tree, but what we can do? Tree can float. Somebody must float. Okay, let's come closer. And one thing I'm going to lean towards is because how the tree is a little bit leaves reside in the view, it just will look a little bit more interesting to me. But I do like, okay, let's go down a little bit lower right here, like around there, because I did like kind of right there, this, yeah, there you go. That's better. Okay, let's go ahead. We'll add um, Optum Elder Tree, just like right here on the bottom. This is, we'll just building this foreground kind of and you notice it's a saturations. We work with saturations and we work with the coloring and a haze. So it's what we're going to do. So we'll bring this a little bit closer. Again, a little bit towards camera and up like right there. So it will go kind of mix nice. And again, see we have layers start going right there, this angle idea of this we offset of the brightness of this area we offsetting a little bit higher contrast as saturation in this corner so we'll have it better laying kind of compositions going and you know what let's add one more plant and for this one actually i'll take this mature tree and we'll just put it somewhere around here a little bit more far away this is big nice tree i like those trees okay we'll just bring them Bring it around here. So it should have to right around there. Green ones poking out. Yeah, we have kind of nicer going. Okay, let's go just shrink a little bit down. Like right there. This will add this darker corner. So we'll add layers I think that is a good one um, right this I'm not sure if I like it so let's go zoom out to this layer and move it a little bit more this way there you go so we'll have it see how it's going down here we'll take this one bring closer around right there there you go we can see now layer going and again a little bit off center we don't want totally in the center so we'll have one heel second heel and one right there so it's going very well nice okay i think we kind of add those plants okay, it's just going okay let's go to atmosphere editor and i know we I did change um, the sky. Okay, let me go ahead. Just save the work. Always save your work as you're going along. Sky, and you know what? Let's go actually 12. And then we're losing a little bit on our lake kind of view right here, but it is adding this nice, beautiful fog. That's what I have it. Also on the lake, let's go, where's my lake? Lake, 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 right here, my lake. Okay, let's go open on the lake and we're going to, okay, let's go ahead and edit this material. Okay, we have it, our foam, okay, we have it, our transparency looking. Effect present, so it's all there. Okay, we'll go to water itself. 
just want to go over some of the elements like bumps okay we've got depth reducing depth on the cover highlights let's go on transparency our 133 we maybe increase pan this and reflectivity pop up so we can see they're a little bit more interesting from the sun right here it should highlights for us just a little bit better right there you can see it um maybe reducing the span and intensity just slightly so not so much but i want to add this reflectivity angle so we can see some reflection of the plants inside that will should give it interesting look and because we do reflectivity let's reduce our murkiness we have leave it that's depth okay i think this is look good okay let's go ahead click ok i'll take my camera position just a little bit down okay here's what we're going to do with camera we position down we bring closer We'll use some of the trees, but we'll okay because we'll just focal link a little bit change. Okay, 32. Like right there. So it's will have right there. Let's go bring just a little bit closer. There you go. I want to just see lake but again because we did this i need to reposition some of these plants so i want to bring this plants a little bit closer right there so we can still see them in this angle we also have it there you go a little bit more interesting i think in this case um with the faraway mountains like this one sometimes what are we going to do we're going to cheat in a way we go angle them a little bit and bring up okay again angle a little bit more just slightly and bring up same world going to do with this terrain angle and bring them up it will make them a little bit higher elevation so we'll see a little bit more heels on the back okay there you go this one okay, angle and bring them up no let's bring yeah there you go just a little bit lower on this one i'm just looking for the angles because i want to have this one maybe even higher like around there so we have it not one single line we have this kind of waviness nice background wavings going down okay and let's go take this one and move just a little bit away not too much just reduce so we'll have it there you go beautiful okay let's go ahead and save this work and i think we are ready to render so i'm actually going to render on higher resolution we'll have it a bit better superior quality just add just like a little bit more uh, quality so i'm going to click ok we'll go render and i'm going to pause again this video and continue when the render is done Okay, so right here, recording is done. You can see it took only 4 hours, 17 minutes for this. Uh, sometimes it may take longer, sometimes less. But I think this is because we have this lining effect. And I put it on very nice details. So it's the reason why we have this much time. Um, the one thing, sometimes people also ask why I don't record some creating animations. Uh, that is a reason, because if I... Uh, recorded my each frame take four hours just imagine if i have it only 24 frames it will take obviously what is it, 48 96 hours so it'll be crazy time three days just for the one second of animation um 
but again this is on a higher quality we can go with lower but overall here's our image i do like how it's come up with the fog in between we have it our visible lake right here it's have a very straight line going uh, maybe i will do later i will add something to the edge to smooth out edge but it still look nice we'll see this is open lake one last step what i want to do is probably take this and work a little bit inside the photoshop just add a little bit more dimension as a hdr so for this we need to go save this file and we'll save as hdr format as well okay so let's go in the folder and we'll select as hdr so we'll save one like this we'll save another one we'll save as psd format so usually it's what i save two of them you can always save as a tiff or not ones i do not recommend save as a jpeg and that is due to the compression so i'm going to save this one and let's go inside the photoshop right now we'll go open and while it's opening i'm going to take hdr file and open inside the photomatics pro so this has helped me to map it tones if you um not familiar with hdr what it does it uh, will save this application save image with a very extensive tones so you actually have more information that you can see it and uh, by saving as a job we can pull out shadows highlights and uh, by going into this application i can actually even add more you can see how it looks look totally weird totally different but it's what i'm needed i want this extra shadows just so i can put them in a specific place and we can manipulate with some elements right here so i'm going just play with little bit light adjustments right there we'll see on our white point if we need it white point already there bring it a bit up now. i don't think i need saturation so we'll take this a little bit down okay apply it okay next we'll just go in the sharpening and just add little bit okay, let's move here okay we'll go bring our sharpen just a little bit done and when we're done we'll go file save image and it will save in same directory and we'll save as um t file so now we can go back to uh, photoshop we can go open our photoshop file and let's go open the tone map it as tiff so you can see we'll have two files one actually i want to take this tiff move up and place it on top there you go just precisely you can see how much details we have we don't need all of them so for that reason i'm going to create um mask all black so it's invisible we'll take our brush and i want to be sure it's soft edge round brush about 10 opacity and i can kind of brush here a little bit closer to the edge so it's where i want to bring some of these details and you can see there you go we're adding more details before and after just a little bit you know reducing if um you want you can also add a little bit on a background we'll take a bigger brush for this just reduce a little bit of the fog and you know what let's go on the lake just a little bit add there you go not so much just small bring up and that's what i like about the power with voodoo all this stuff um let's go next if you want it okay let me actually resize my photoshop so we can kind of fit in a window and i'm going to actually add selective colors for this and we'll go and switch to blacks and we can see what we can do so let's add a little bit on a black 
add a colder a bit more cyan cold to the darker we'll go to the neutral so this is our neutral color and yes, so we can see I don't actually a little bit brighter and we'll go a little bit warmer here let's go to whites actually I want white a little bit darker cold or warm so this is kind of you what you can play and I think if we're going yeah I think this way so right here just one and we can do another curve let's go do this curve with colors blue same we'll just take increase blue and yellow so then we're just playing with this complementary colors so what I'm doing I'm just taking complementary colors and I'm want to create a nice curve I think this is about all what I want to do here we could also play with the vibrance if you want to add a little bit more on a coloring kind of vibrancy why vibrance this but if I do with vibrance again I don't necessarily like these two yellowish start popping out so we can add mask to here just reduce a little bit on the vibrance and keep vibrance in this case as well the sky a little bit yellow so I want to move a little bit to the blue some elements in here and maybe to do some clouds sometime okay and right here a little bit purplish so I like it a little bit purple how it was going around here so we'll add a little bit more notice this is my mask so I'm just playing with some coloring you can see just a little bit and maybe it's even right here a little bit more add this colder so we'll have it a little bit colder corner around here I think that one work good okay I think that is all and again mostly just small color correction if you go and can check in a view it still look very nice and uh, this is we just created from scratch just sit down and doing playing around so this is what I would recommend you to do also just have fun go sit down play create um, some scenery see what's happening and this is how we conclude Thank you very much for watching this video. If you're enjoying and you like additional tutorials or materials and all the stuff, uh, just become supporter on the Patreon. It will greatly appreciate it, all your help. And it's also helped me to continue to develop more new content and videos for you. Thank you again. See you again next time.